Hello, we are going to spend a few moments um, talking about an easy image transfer technique that you can apply to your art journal or really any uh, paper or surface it is that you're interested in transferring an image onto. So uh, there are a number of image transfer techniques out there. This is one that is quick it's easy, you can do it with just about anything you have laying around the house, and it doesn't uh, make a lot of mess or take a lot of time. It can be done right at your kitchen table, which, as I know, uh, is pretty essential if it's something that you actually want to get done. So you're going to want a printed um, page with whatever image it is that you want to transfer. You're going to want something to burnish that page with, you're going to want packing tape for our purposes, an art journal or whatever it is that you are transferring your images or creating your imagery for your journal onto, uh, some water, and finally some medium. If you don't like rough edges, you will also want a pair of scissors. So we're going to start by taking the image that you have decided you want to transfer and taking some packing tape. When you're choosing the image, the main criteria is that you want to make certain that it is smaller or narrower than the packing tape itself or that you are okay with multiple pieces of packing tape to span the width. So you're going to take the packing tape, place it over the image, and then you're going to take your bone folder and you're going to rub it back and forth using the long side, burnishing that packing tape down. So you really, really want to make sure that you're getting the image connected to the packing tape as best you possibly can. So rub really hard, rub really good. You'll kind of notice, if you're looking closely, uh, that the areas of the image that are really adhering to the tape become darker. So that's something you can look for. So you have the image under the tape, and the tape is burnished on. Then I take my scissors, and I just cut the image out. I kind of enjoy the clear edge around it, so I might not cut immediately up next to um, the printed area. I usually leave a fraction of an inch open surrounding it. Maybe even more if you want, just for aesthetic purposes. So you're going to cut your image out. So now you have this little image that is just the size of the packing tape and you're going to take it in your clear water, nothing but water, and totally dunk it in. You're going to make sure it's completely submerged. You're going to plan on leaving it in there for at least 10 minutes. You want the um, white paper to begin to break down so you can remove it so only the ink is left on the sheet itself. So I put something in a little while ago here and it has now soaked and the paper has started to break down. So you can take it and just begin to rub your finger back and forth on it, removing the extra paper from the image. Sometimes you'll find, like in this case, the entire image is going to peel back, which don't let it alarm you. You'll see there's still a bit of a ghost image on the paper that peeled off but there's a good transfer here as well. So you're going to continue kind of using your thumb to pull any pulp off. Then you can use a napkin or a paper towel or really any cloth to blot it off. You're going to end up with this, which you can't necessarily see right now, but you take your art journal or whatever ground it is that you're wanting to put it onto and you simply adhere it to the page. So it creates a transparency of the image. So whatever it is that is light is going to 
allow what is beneath it to shine through. So this is kind of a sweet little picture I took of a little story circle that I created out of some leaves that my son was bringing me the other day. Um, and I just took a picture of our feet surrounding it. You can burnish it onto the page to make sure that it adheres and voila, you're ready to embellish. You can write around it, you can paint around it. Really, the sky's the limit. I like this method because more often than not it creates more of a ghost of the image than something really clear and um, precise. So it kind of gives you a little creative license to um, talk about or expand upon what the image actually means as you're working with it in your journal. So again, you're taking the page, you're taking the tape, you're covering the image with the tape, you're burnishing it with the bone folder, and then you're going to cut it out, soak the image in the water for at least 10 minutes. Go ahead and remove the white part of the paper simply by dragging your finger across it you'll feel the pulp begin to ball up and maybe sometimes the entire image will lift away so you can see how the paper is kind of balling up there and then you can simply once you're done removing the paper fiber the ink is left on the tape you can just post the tape right into your book. If for any reason the packing tape isn't still uh, sticky, you can use just a little matte medium beneath it to help it adhere because that'll dry clear. So that is a quick and easy image transfer technique for you to use in your art journal uh, anytime you like, even late at night from a kitchen table. So I'm Kasha Cogger and I hope that that was helpful. Thanks so much.